What's up guys? Phil here. Let's talk about natural light. So I'm sitting here rendering my latest project and I noticed that there's a lot of natural light coming in through this big window I have right in front of me. And some would say it's really gross outside. It's cloudy, it's not very bright. Personally, I love it. You see when the sun is out and it's super bright outside, you get a lot of harsh lighting, harsh shadows on people's faces and it's not very flattering. And if you see a lot of people using off-camera flash, they use big soft boxes like that guy you'll see big scrims. You'll see them softening the light with some sort of diffusion material. It casts a really soft, even lighting across the face. It's very flattering. See, clouds do the same thing. They scatter the light across, they diffuse it so that when you're taking shots, it's nice and even across the face, across your subject's face. See, personally, I love going out and shooting when there's a lot of cloud cover. Hey, it's not hot. It's Houston. It's always hot. What's going on with that? It's October and it's like 90 degrees outside with cloud cover. Come on, Texas. Get it together. So right now, the only light source I have right now is this Aperture 300D. If I turn that off, all I have is this front light source, which is the big window with nice, soft, diffused light. Let's go check it out. So I was saying, I'm outside now, and you see it's really soft and diffused across my face. Very flattering, it's easy to shoot in. Your exposure generally doesn't change throughout the day. So if you're not really confident with off-camera flash, going outside and shooting in cloud cover, it's a great way to practice your exposure triangle, trying to get a great exposure. Whether you're going dark and moody or light and airy, you need to know the relationship between ISO, your f-stop, and your shutter speed and shooting outside with cloud cover is a great way to do that. So this was a quick video. Hopefully you got something out of it. Go outside and create something.